In this position, with our patient sitting at the side of the table, we can now measure for radial deviation of the wrist. Our moving axis, in this case, will be directly over the capitate. Our stationary arm is going to be bisecting the forearm. Because we do not have a landmark and just are looking at a bisection, it is important to have a consistent position of 80 to 90 degrees of abduction of the shoulder and 90 degrees of flexion at the elbow. This puts the forearm in a consistent neutral position with which to establish that stationary arm. Our moving arm will be from the capitate to the base of the third metacarpal. We'll line our goniometer in this degree and here. Move the patient into full radial deviation and realign our goniometer along our landmarks. This would give us a true measurement of radial deviation of the wrist.